was cracking. This your boy, Big OG Frontline 612. Yeah, man. I find myself going to bed a little bit earlier, between 9, 10, 30. You know, I'm getting up at like 5, 6 o'clock. I get up every day at 6, but then I'll be lazy sometimes. You know what I'm saying? And I would just get up around like 6, 36. Be lazy until like 7, 30 before I get out to bed. And really just make something happen, you feel me? And, uh... And I'm just basically just over it, man. I wake up thinking about my son. It's been, he been gone for 10 months. And you know, I spent like, man, fuck, fuck what I spent. But I did, like six bands or more in March. To get a crib, the past, what, six months to take in my eight year old, pay for bills, pay for gas, to do everything, you know, to go above and beyond doing fingerprints for a whole nother state uh running my shop dealing with new people uh letting go of a i don't even know what the fuck it was if it was a relationship or not it was just some bullshit for two years you know what i'm saying changing other people's lives putting credentials in their life come here girl putting credentials in it, man, just changing their life, man, making them have better relationships with their own children, and I can't even build them with minds. Minds want to be negative. And uh, just all the situations above, man. CPS want to give my, my uh, son back to the mom who actually put him there when I got everything I need to happen. As far as income, license, vehicles, a place, everything that, you know, my, my place need to be expected by. Come here, girl. Come here. Come here, girl, look. Yeah. My whole thing is, I wake up, you know, um, I was punished. They ignored me just the third week. My attorneys, the CPS people, nobody's calling me back. Nobody responding to my calls. They start reunifying him with the mom without giving me any more information, uh, talking to me. Their supervisors, supervisors, and directors, <laughs> over directors and supervisors, over supervisors, none of them called me back. The system is cruel, man. Now, I know there's programs and everything that's going on here and there for CPS cases and for fathers. To me, they're not successful enough. The youth information isn't easy enough and consistent enough to get a hold of them, man. Uh, have that energy, man. Ha have that power, man. Ha have that faith in yourself to keep caring, you know, and keep them carings away. The system is a big camera, man. My whole thing is, I'm shutting down this week. I'm not giving them what they want. It's just the fact that they've been pushing me away since the beginning. They don't like the way I carry myself. They don't like how strong I am. They don't like how dedicated I am. They Mothers don't want fathers in their life. Women ain't having men in their life and having their fathers in their life, so they're avoiding that for their daughters. No, my kids ain't caring. Nobody's caring about anything, man. So with all this being said, man, I love myself. And I love the people who don't even love me no more. I don't even like that word. But love is because I tell them this and I, my actions show this and that I record it and that I state it and that I mean it. They not recording it. They not saying it. My kids' mothers ain't one of them calling me and saying, hey, how you doing? Thank you for being a father. Thank you for being in our children's lives all your life. You 45 years old. Ain't none of them saying thank you for staying out of prison since 2002. Ain't none of them saying, hey, thank you for not, you ain't had a traffic ticket in three years. The pettiest shit. So y'all stay up, man. Y'all stay strong, man. Y'all stay motivated. Y'all stay positive, man. 
and to the real fathers and to the real people out here, man, that's striving and going through what I'm going through, man, we not sorry. I ain't sorry for you, don't be sorry for me, man. Do what you do. Be a little bit more selfish, maybe. Keep stacking your bread. Get your career. Stop talking to women. Stop worrying about relationships. It ain't her beauty or her beauty. Let her have some brains. She take care of her kids good, and you notice that, then hey, she can take care of you good, and you can take care of her. And her children can behave, and your children can behave, and try to raise a family, man. It don't mean that it gotta be your kids to be the ones that love you. It don't mean it gotta be your family to be the ones that care about you. It ain't just gotta be strangers. Find yourself, man. Find God, man. I'm finding God right now as much as I can, man. So much love to y'all, man. To the ones who really care. She's getting a little on patient. I came out and <laughs> didn't bring her leash. God, just give us all the strength. Lord Jesus, give us all the strength this morning that need to do what we need to do to be strong, man, and to move forward, man. Give us the strength, man, to not have emotions and feelings, man, and take them out on other people or just to give up faith. Lord Jesus, give us all the strength this morning to be woke and to wake up as black people. Let us have the strength to help our neighbors. Give us the strength to never, ever give up. Only one thing we promised in this world is death. Man. That's it. We're not promised nothing else. Lord Jesus, give us the strength to pass the message and give it to somebody else, man. Forgive yourself. I forgive myself. Forgive others. Forget about it. Love yourself. Amen.